hello ninth class today we as we all know we have learned about elements the symbols we have learned about compounds and their formula we learn how to write formula of a compound using the cations or anions or we can call them basic radicals or acidic radicals there are certain compounds or all the chemical compounds are having some specific conditions in which how to give their name and other thing first basic thing which is there while naming the compound is that metals and non metals are generally combining to form a compound so a metal is always written first followed by a non metal metals name remain as it is cations name remain as it is whereas in case of anion or a acidic radical the name the non metals name is added with ide if oxygen is there it become oxide if nitrogen is there it become nitride sulfur it become sulfide id is been added for example chlorine is there we feel when it combines with some non -met, uh, with some metal we'll call it chloride iodine when combine it changes to iodide and so on now in some cases a same non metal with the metal if they are present in condition like more than two times chlorine is present more than two times three times four times then what process we can do we we'll learn about that carbon monoxide when one oxygen is there monoxide or carbon oxide but if there are two oxygens we used to call it carbon dioxide yes similarly here what there are certain word which we can add tri tetra or penta depend upon the number of those non metals for example in this case we are having pcl3 so phosphorus tri chloride and pcl5 we will call phosphorus penta chloride now there are certain two elements and oxygen sometime is there oxygen is represented at the end of the formula the name of the compound depend upon number of oxygen present in the compound so here one word prefix hypo is used if the number of oxygen atom is less than 2 less than 2 means one time like sodium chlorine and oxygen together are there to so be called sodium hypochlorine what we call sodium hypochlorine now we are having here word ite it is used if the number of oxygen atoms are 2 naclo2 so we call sodium chloride so what is there in place of oxygen we are using word hypo is used in one place it is coming in second third eight word if it is coming eight suffix eight is been used if the number of oxygen atom is 3 so naclo3 sodium chlorate prefix per is used when the number of oxygen atom is more than 3 sodium perchlorate now coming for naming of acids as it has been given in your book the name of the binary acids are given by adding prefix hydro word and the suffix is coming ik for example hcl is there so for hydrogen we call it hydrochloric acid for hi hydrogen we are using word hydro and after the name of chlorine we'll use it chloric so we call an acid word is added in the end hydrochloric acid hf is hydrofluoric acid name of certain acids containing radical of polyatomic groups are given on the basis of second element present in the molecule and here the word uh, hydro has a prefix is not been used for example sulfuric acid is there h2so4 so here hydro word is not been coming now now the name of the acid starts with the second non metal which is present x other than oxygen sulfur is there so the name will come sulfuric acid in next case we are having hno3 so hydrogen again hydro will not be coming but nitrogen is the second non metal which is there so we'll come make nitric acid third one is phosphoric acid the second element here is phosphorus the so name will come from phosphoric acid if the number of oxygen atom is less then suffix ous is used instead of like in hydrochloric acid we are having 
for sulfuric acid SO4 is there so if you are having H2SO3 one oxygen is less so we will call it sulfurous acid we are having nitric acid HNO3 but HNO2 is known as nitrous acid phosphoric acid is H3PO4 so if we get H3PO3 we will call it phosphorus so phosphoric acid we will call it phosphorus acid there are certain tribal names some compounds are there which do not form this systematic rules their names are being accepted as it is whatever or from the sources they are obtained or common name or tribal name they are widely accepted and uh, for example here we are having we'll see about water or ammonia this basically if we see nh3 nitrogen trihydride hydrogen is three time now we will pcl3 phosphorus trichloride if we see in here in this case it is nh3 the name should be nitrogen trihydride but its tribal name ammonia is generally being used in case of water it is hydrogen monoxide or dihydrogen oxide but what we are using is oxygen and they are being accepted as it is now today's last topic of this exercise one there what we have to calculate the valency from the formula valency of element can be determined on the knowledge or the signs which we are having for example hydrogen's valency is one oxygen valency is two chlorine valency is one the number of hydrogen combining with an atom tells about the valency uh, in this case if i am having a case no2 you want to find out the valency of nitrogen so i'll see how many nitrogens oxygen are combined with it two are there now interchange the subscript and make it superscript so one from nitrogen will go to oxygen and two of oxygen will go to nitrogen so valency of oxygen is taken as two therefore now i want uh, we know that uh, valency of oxygen as a standard here it is given two so, but earlier the number is one so i will write it's correct so oxygen i want to make two so i will be multiplying both nitrogen and oxygen by two while doing so i'll get that nitrogen's valency is four and oxygen's valency is two so we can use standard valence standard element to find to uh, to find the valency of other elements so the standard are hydrogen oxygen and 